Okay, this one's rather easy. This is just a matter of the order of your speeches and the time each of them are going to take. This is probably something Remy should have taught you within the first couple of weeks. However, I'm going to go over this real quickly. If you just need the times and the order of speeches, they're right there. Good for you. You've got them now. I'll go over them a little bit right now. First, you go over your 1AC. That's going to take up 8 minutes of your time. You should have everything already planned out for the speech and have the whole speech written down for you to read off. After that is the cross X for the round. The kind of questions you should ask should be covered in another video. And you have three minutes to ask any questions you have about the 1AC. These questions will be asked by the 2NR, or 2NC speaker. Next up is the 1NC speech. It is eight minutes long. Um, this is not pre-prepared, but you should base it off of the 1AC and run it so that you have topicality, disadvantage, and that sort of stuff within your eight minutes. Then a cross X for the 1AC will ask the 1NC about their speech. Then the 2NC will get up and speak, either based off of the 1NC's speech or to further the 1AC's points. This will take another eight minutes of their time, and in the cross-examination, the 1NC is going to ask questions about the 2AC speech. And then the 2NC is going to get the final constructive speech and base whatever they still need in their arguments. They have eight minutes to get up any arguments they need, and this is the last time any arguments will be able to be put into play before the rebuttals, and they will be no longer allowed afterwards. Then the cross X, three minutes, where the 2AC asks the 2NC about their speech. The 1NR will continue on the negative block, and they'll just add on to the argument and try to build up as much as they can so that the 1AR will have nothing to compete with. In the 1AR's five minutes, coming up right after that, they're supposed to try to go up against everything that just went off in the negative block there. This is kind of difficult to do, but if done successfully, then you've pretty much won the debate. When the 2NR tries to wrap things up and give an actual reason for why you should vote, vote negative, and they need to say why the other team screwed up, why it's a bad plan, why they have won. When the 2AR takes their time, their five minutes, and they get to say everything they're doing right, how, why they've won, and how the debate has gone. Now, note that you may not have time to create your speeches in the times given here. However, each team does have five minutes of prep time they can use between any of these rounds. That five minutes can be divided evenly or used in a single speech. That's up to the debaters. That's all I really have on this topic for now, so see you guys and have a nice debate.